Hello, I'm Neil Brzeitis, Senior Managing Director with Newmark Knight Frank in Philadelphia, and today we're interviewing Ryan Simonetti, CEO of Convene. So 2019-2013 was, uh, you know, f- was really a family office that had backed us and um, there was a little bit of a disconnect between what they ultimately wanted and I think what we wanted as founders, which was to build a much larger business. They were really running this or was hoping to run this as a cash flow business. Um, so from 2009 to 2013, we actually ended up only opening uh, three locations during that time period. But the benefit of that was it gave us the time to really perfect the hospitality delivery model, which ultimately I think distinguishes us from everybody else in the space today. Uh, It's still I think the biggest core differentiator between us and and most everybody else in this new and emerging industry is the the ability to deliver a genuine authentic hospitality experience. Um, In 2013, uh, we did a series A round, um, which uh, I think ended up being about $12 million when it was all said and done. And then we've kind of been doing financial raises almost every 12 to 18 months since then. So uh, the last round we closed uh, was 68. We actually upsized that to 72 million. And then we're actually in the process right now. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be closing a $150 million round. I think we've really, we've executed and we've done it in a, in a very deliberate and thoughtful way. And I think really have positioned ourselves as kind of the premier brand in the space or the premium brand in the space. And more important than that is really the preferred partner to the largest asset owners in the world who are feeling the disruption that's happening today. And you know, we offer them a platform and a partnership model that allows them to respond to that without having to sign a lease with WeWork, allowing them sometimes to have it branded in their name and powered by us. Uh, and I think that partnership model has really, really served us well. Uh, and again, that's why a lot of our biggest partners are also investors in the company. So you know, we've really positioned ourselves, I think, as the industry's response to the disruption and the change that's happening and doing it in a collaborative partner driven format. If I close my eyes and I think about what the office building experience in the next 10 to 15 years looks like, I would say that the first thing is mixed use. Uh, I believe that zoning will continue to evolve and I wouldn't be surprised if you look into a building structure that you start to see not just a blend of retail and office, but retail, office, residential, industrial vis-a-vis, hyper-local distribution, last block type of delivery infrastructure for for people like Amazon. I think the other thing that you'll find is that the percentage of the building that's allocated to the use cases like Convene will become an ever-increasing allocation of the building, where I wouldn't be surprised if 30, 40, 50% of the building ends up being allocated to short duration space and shared amenities and infrastructure that the longer term tenants above get the benefit of. Uh, every building will be defined as smart. Uh, and I think that that's more than smart lighting and smart infrastructure and a building application. I believe that the technology will advance to a point where the actual experience in the, in the building will be personalized to the individual user and that the building will actually be able to not just meet the needs but actually anticipate the needs of an individual employee of a tenant or an individual guest of a tenant in an office building.